guys what's taking place what's going on well you're gonna stock up on cash because we're going digital cashless everything but you still need to stock up on the cash because i tell you what even with the digital explosion it appears that you can't get to use those cards when you need to i've been getting a lot of messages from different islands where people are saying almost every friday there's a problem at the supermarket or at the banks where you go to get money and you can't get it to the atms or use your point of sale in the supermarket they're just not working because the internet is not giving you that opportunity to do so the banking system appears to be done almost every friday in some island something is going on so they're saying this has to be a controlling mechanism they'll tell you how to spend when to spend where to spend and yes of course you know it's funny because we've all been swept up in the digital revolution i mean every time you turn around it feels like something new is emerging some app or some platform that promises to make our lives easier more efficient and don't get me wrong i love the convenience of sending money to a friend in seconds without having to dig through the wallet but there's something about cash that we're losing, something that I think we should all take a moment to appreciate. Now, let's face it. We've become accustomed to the ease of digital transactions that we often forget the tangible value of cash. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you felt the weight of a crumpled bill in your pocket? or the satisfaction of handing over cash to pay for something. There's a certain connection to our money when it's physical and a certain awareness of what we're spending. With digital payments, it's almost like we're in a chance, a mindless swiping and tapping without a, a second thought. And here's the kicker, right? While we're racing towards a cashless future, there's some real downsides to consider. For one, not everyone have access to the digital world still. There are still millions of people who rely on cash for their daily transactions. Think about the elderly or those living in rural areas where internet access is spotty at best. And for them, cash isn't just a preference, it is a necessity. And when I say spotty, there's still some elderly people who do not have internet in their homes or the internet connection is just nasty in some areas. If you know in the Caribbean, digital and flow, they're almost the same. They promise you faster speeds, but it's just a waste of time most of the time. Plus, let's talk about privacy for a second. I mean, every time you make a purchase digitally, there's a trail left behind. Your spending habits are tracked, analyzed, and they are sold no matter what they tell you. Companies know what you buy, where you go, even how often you go there with cash, it's different. It's anonymous. It's yours. You can spend it however you want without anyone peeking over your shoulder. And then there is the whole issue of budgeting. When I use cash, I have that physical representation of my spending. I can see the bills dwindling in my wallet. That makes me think twice before um, splurging on that extra, whatever it is, or impulse to buy. But with digital payments, really, it's all too easy to lose track. You swipe a card and poof, the money is gone without a trace. You don't feel it the same way. The thing is, so you pay your bills online, you buy stuff on Amazon, um, you go to the supermarket, you use the card. I'm not saying we should abandon digital payments altogether. They're incredibly useful and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. But I do think it's important to strike a balance because maybe we should all consider keeping a little cash on hand. You know, a few bills um, tucked away in a wallet for those moments when you need it. It's like having a safety net. You never know when you might find yourself in a situation where uh, digital payments aren't accepted or when the power goes out, for instance, and suddenly your phone is just a fancy paperweight because when I've got information from different islands, they're saying to me, look, went into the supermarket up to this morning. They were saying, one lady was telling me, and the ATM machine was down, so she couldn't get cash. So she says, well, I'm going to the uh, cash desk and using the pointer still. And then they said to her, well, the banking system is not working too well here, so we can't use the card. So she just had to abandon her shopping. So this is a problem that we're having, right? That's why you still need to stock cash. Let's not forget about the joy of cash gifts. There's something personal about giving someone cash. It's like saying, um, yeah, you do you. Spend it on whatever makes you happy. It's a freedom that digital cards cannot replicate. So just want to say, as we move forward in this incredible digital world, let's not forget about cash. Let's keep a little bit of physical currency in our lives. 
it's a reminder of where we came from and a tool that can help us stay grounded in our spending habits. Plus, it's just nice to have that tangible connection to our money. So next time you think about it, consider grabbing a few bucks from the ATM. You might just find it a bit more refreshing from the norm, you know, from the hustle and the bustle of the uh, digital life, right? So just keep that in mind because really and truly digital is here to stay, but keep cash because a lot of things are going to go down. One day you might wake up and hear there's a cyber attack and you can't get the, any money from the ATM. Banks are overcrowded. A lot of people around. You just can't get what you want. Things are going to go dry. So just be careful. All right.